Good evening, folks. My name is Adam Ahmad, and I'm an 18-year-old serial entrepreneur. Today, and this is Nick Korhummel, my operations manager. I'm 12. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be presenting an online revolutionary trading marketplace. But before I get into that, I'd like to talk about something that we've all dealt with, risk. All of us have taken risks, and not many of us like taking them. Why should we have to work so hard in exchange for something that's in the unknown? Today I'm going to be showing you a solution that is completely risk-free. And that solution, folks, is Swapity. Swapity is an online trading marketplace that easily enables you to post products, just like an eBay listing. As you can see here, this user has posted an iPhone 4S. You're able to list the brand, model, condition, item you're willing to trade for, the description, accessories, as well as pictures. As you can see here, this user is looking to trade for a Samsung Galaxy S2. Well, it just so happens that a user by the name of One Bears Fan has offered a Samsung Galaxy S2. And as you can, ex as you can expect, the iPhone 4S user accepts the deal. Now you might be wondering, what happens at this point? Well, the items are actually shipped over to Swapity. Wait, we're supposed to ship it to Swapity? Yes, Nick. We actually ship it to Swapity. You know that. Once you make a deal, once you make a deal, the items are you print out a prepaid label, slap it on the box, and off it comes to Swapity's location. We're the only marketplace that does verification of the products. Once it comes to our location, we do three things. We check for the contents, so we make sure that all the things that were, in, that were included in the listing are actually uh, in, in the box. The second thing we check for is the condition. So is it the actual condition that I was described in? And the third thing we check for is the functionality. So does it actually do what it's intended to do? Once the items are good to go, we give it our swapity seal of approval, and off it goes to each of its respective parties. And that's it, you're done. So the current categories we're doing include books, so think about college students, instead of buying those expensive textbooks, they can easily trade them with other college students. Doing cell phones, so think about all the cell phones, all the latest, hottest cell phones that come out every single month. Instead of extending your contract for two years, simply trade your current one immediately. Why wait for that contract to be over? The third thing we do is gift cards. So all those unused gift cards can actually be used for something of value on the site. And then finally, we do video games and consoles. This is a big one. So with GameStop currently, when you sell your video games, you get less than 50% of the value. With Swapity, you can exchange it for another game or whatever it is for a fraction of the cost. In Swapity, we have a very unique coin system that's built in. The coin system adds value to a trade, and they have a dollar value within the site. So you can add coins to a trade and use those coins for future negotiations, as well as redeem them for cash. Our fee structure is the lowest in the market. We charge a dollar to ten dollars plus shipping, and that's it. No BS. Just to recap, with Swapity, you can easily send and receive offers. It's extremely convenient. No longer do you ever have to leave outside your home to do a transaction. Think about this. You're, with Craigslist, you always have to, do, you have to meet up with strange people. I mean, it's just a nightmare. Um, and best of all, it's scam free because all of the items actually come to our location and we verify them. And that's, the, I think, the best part. I'm asking you today to use Swapity and completely Think about how, how you're eliminating risk from the equation. And today I'm asking you to be risk averse and help me change the way we look at online commerce. Thank you very much. Uh, people are curious, uh, how do you scale a business if it requires employees to monitor each transaction as far as uh, reviewing the integrity of the items? Sure. So, um, uh, so basically, um, right now we're doing some really simple categories, which include the ones that I showed you, and a lot of them really don't take that much time to to verify. So we can 
have you know the average workers but implement a process which we have a we have a three-step process to actually verify the item so to scale it, it's I mean it's very very easy to do uh, basically you're running in essence an escrow system uh, the issues would be overhead as far as handling each transaction uh, what are, the, are, are there additional costs that were outlined there as far as uh, so the only thing I mean it's basically we once the item comes into our location all we're doing is taking out of the box and checking for those three things. So it's basically, I mean, just the cost of the space. And we have Swapity branded boxes that we put the items into once it's verified. And, and that's about it. OK. Are you guys worried about stolen items ending up on the site? Uh, so I mean, in our terms of service, I mean, it's everything is as is. And we tell people, like, you know, you can't sell or, I mean, sorry, trade, uh, you know, stolen items. But um, in terms of, when it comes to like uh, functionality wise, if it's uh, like for example, if it's a Verizon or Sprint phone, we're going to make sure it has like a clean ESN, uh, just to make sure that everything works. Okay. As far as testing each thing, so when you're testing each item, are you having people that are trained that know this is exactly how the item is supposed to operate? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, the current we want to expand into different categories, but right now we have a process for each of the categories to verify specific things. Um, for a product, so you know, for cell phones, we have a specific process. For video games, we have a you specific. Get to play the video games. <laughs> yeah, we get to we test each and every game just to make sure it works. Hours. <laughs> this guy knows. I mean, we've been we've been doing it. So, right, so if we're shipping the item to you and you're shipping it out, uh, as far as shipping costs, who pays for all the all these dishes? So the user pays for the shipping cost, uh, but when you compare this to a model with eBay, um, the, you're eliminating complete PayPal fees for the seller. Uh, you don't have to pay, I mean, you're paying shipping, and then it's a, a very, we, we charge a flat fee, so a dollar to ten dollars, I mean, that's unheard of. So, you know, you're paying a dollar to ten dollars, typically a transaction in its entirety costs about twenty-five dollars from coast to coast uh, for about a two-pound product. So, that's what the average, uh, you know, product's like. Uh, since eBay and Swaptree and other systems are currently out there and they're somewhat popular, are you concerned that people already are? very comfortable with the risk or do you feel like there's an underserved market? So that's actually one of the biggest problems right now. A lot of people stay away from uh, sites like that because of the scam that's involved and because we're completely eliminating uh, the scamming because obviously all the products are shipped to us and we verify them. I mean it's completely, you know, scam free. Okay, so the final customer, what happens if they disagree with your assessment of the item? So. We do it on a case-by-case -case basis. I mean, we do have liability insurance in the case where we would be, you know, in the wrong. But um, in terms of the final, you know, the final transaction, it's as is. And we do a thorough test when, when it comes to our location. Since a uh, condition can kind of be subjective, do you guys have very clear, out, you know, defined requirements? Yeah, yeah we do. So when you, when you actually list a product, we have, like, predefined, uh, you know, it's like new, used, and then there's a description of what that means, so the users know exactly what you know what they're list, what they're posting. All right. In essence, if this system is based on swapping, trading, uh, how do you handle items that don't don't have an equal value, like a paper clip and a yeah, house? that's that's an excellent excellent question. Um, so we have that coin system, which enables you to add money onto a trade. So those coins, like for example, with the iPhone 4s, or, yeah, with the iPhone 4s and the Samsung Galaxy S2 example. Um, the one of the users, so let's just say the iPhone 4S is worth less. They can offer additional money, so they can even up the trade. So I could I could be like, hey, here's my iPhone 4S plus fifty dollars worth of coins in exchange for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So that kind of sweetens the deal a little bit. All right, uh, that's actually all the time we have. However, there's one question for you. So you're 18 and you're actually deferring your first year of college. Yes, I am. Yep. To run Swabity. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. This is my full time. Very cool. Yeah.